everybody. Welcome to the Highway the Lads. Good morning, Vietnam. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good Hello good everybody. Welcome to the Highway. It's definitely a good afternoon. What the hell is that? Who's got an echo on? now? I cannot hey, believe it. Hey, that'll, be that'll be the wind stuff. Oh, oh man, you uh, are shy, man. Wind. Literally. <laughs> God damn it. I'm just checking you. All right, the camera uh, looks a little bad today. Welcome, yeah. everyone. Yeah, we got we got that one fixed. Now he's looking he's good. Now, and my man Paul, he's got his he's got his new mic on. He looks sharp. I appreciate that. DX, of course, sharp. Roy, very much sharp with those big ass headsets. Uh, but uh, you're looking great, man. You're looking great. And always, you always got a new new yeah, shirt. Beautiful. I think every day. Uh, how many oh, new cast shirts you got, man? I think I've got about seventy or seventy. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to do a show on it, man. What's your oldest one? All yeah. right, let's do one, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. the best, f- let's do like best five of worst five. Well, then, yeah, let's yeah. not say that out loud because then tomorrow, tomorrow, somebody's going to have that. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you know, you know how this YouTube thing works. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, maybe we might, might, might have a, we still got a little bit of an international break to do, even though Thursday we are back in action, ladies and gentlemen, because Thursday is the match preview of Newcastle and West Ham United. And of course, throughout the weekend, you know what we're going to have. But uh, uh, again, welcome to the show, ladies and gents. I thank you to everybody that tuned in for the Once Upon a Time podcast yes, for members you. earlier. You watched that one, Roy? Yeah, yeah, I watched it. Yeah, I watched you it. watched it. Well, how it lasts, man. Thank you, thank you, thank Good. you. I don't miss uh, an episode, even if I'm not. No one. missing it, but that. I like that. See, that's representing I even watched me. yesterday's. I even watched yesterday's show no when doubt. I got back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> uh by the way smash the like button if you want to support us subscribe if you're new to the show super chats are much appreciated click the dollar sign on the bottom right of your screen and of course thank you for supporting the ndfc insiders uh if you want to win prices every month and enjoy exclusive content like we did this morning the once upon a time podcast become a member of the show and if you are a member already you can um you know give away memberships uh, for free I mean, not for free, really. I shouldn't say that. You can give you can give memberships away, and the person that receives them, they won't have to pay anything. But uh, it's much appreciated. All the support yesterday, the Queen of Heart gave memberships away. My wife ma- gave memberships away. So we got over sixty members now. Hopefully, they all stay. But we got to add more members as it helps us support our channel. You can join our Facebook group as well as our WhatsApp group. The links are in the description. Uh, the descriptions. You can just join. The disruption. <laughs> yeah, enjoy, discuss, <laughs> discuss anything that's going on about Newcastle United. We got to keep it respectful. We got to keep it clean so everybody, nobody gets offended. We only talk about the tune there and we keep it clean. And of course, if you have any questions regarding the topic of discussion right now, you shall, uh, we shall answer as many questions as you can. Put a cue in front of them and we will get to them. We got the transfer show, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, uh, I'm surprised because we are actually... If I'm not mistaken, linked with eight players right now, or seven, or maybe actually a little more. It's it's incredible. Now a lot of these players are not, uh, you know, your, your typical household names that you're used to, but good names in their prospective teams. And we're gonna bring them up right now, and we're gonna talk about them and see what the fellas think. Some they already probably heard about them. Maybe you heard about them as well. But we're still gonna discuss them, and you might have heard them in other channels, etc. Regardless. This is, uh, you know, we're going to get our perspective and, and talk about what's going on with the tune. And tomorrow we got the um, the talk of the tune worldwide at 11 p.m. UK. And you already know where you're at uh, the time, the time zone. But uh, for the most part, 11 p.m. UK, we're going to bring in people from all over the world, all over the world. Fans from uh, Singapore, Malaysia. We got one from Indonesia. Uh, we're supposed to have one from Australia, but I think he's going to come the following week. And oh man, what you what you got to say about that? Yeah, it, it, it's it's just been on the. I've just literally just when you were doing okay. the intro, I got a yeah. WhatsApp saying, yeah, he's going to be there. Okay, so so he's gonna, and he is actually. You might have heard of him. He is uh, the co-host or host for the Tune Under uh, podcast on, on YouTube or or Spotify from Australia, bringing the the Aussie perspective. He's going to be live, uh, according to the old man. Shout out to the old man because he's put all these people together and uh, all his contacts. And uh, they, we got a lot of them, really. A lot of people from all over the world. Um, we're doing a double whammy with me because I'm representing Peru and America. But we might get another <laughs> American at some point. You know, because some people are going to be like, well, you don't count. Get we'll another Peruvian. Yeah, got to get another. 
But uh, also somebody from Canada, Ryan Rayom, as you know him. Uh, he He's not going to be here tomorrow, but next week uh, he will be. So we're going to get people from all over the world, ladies and gentlemen. So stay tuned for that one, 11 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, but today, transfer show, folks. Transfer show. So we got to talk about uh, these players. The first one I have lined up is from a Sporting, Portugal. His, na his name is Victor Jokiris, or Jokiris. I'm bad at surname, so my apologies. Uh, but according to all these are on one football, to be honest. And of course, they're written by different articles and websites. But uh, so take it with a grain of salt. I'm ju we're just discussing rumors here. We're not in the know. We're not. Uh, we don't have the, the 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 truth. We're just discussing rumors right now. And a lot of these might be shite, might be smoke. But again, take it with a grain of salt. You know, it's always good. Uh, a good discussion to talk about the tune and, and possible players coming up. Uh, 32 years old, and um, so he he might come for 43 million pounds. I, I believe that's a high fee for somebody this old. And so he's supposed to be, according to them, a replacement for Callum Wilson. Um, I don't I don't know what you guys think, but uh, do you, have you guys heard anything uh, regarding this fellow? Uh, I'm going to I'm going to be showing some of his. Some of his things, some of his, some of his uh, play, uh, of course, limited for copyright issues. But uh, I mean, I mean, he's got good movement. He's he seems to be one of those big, big, uh, tall, tough players. I don't know, like a Chris Wood, maybe. Um, what do you guys I, think so far? No, this guy it looks. <laughs> I mean, doesn't even like Chris um, Wood. Will not have him. Well, <laughs> well, you get you get the skills. He's, 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 he's a got right number on. Hey, to he's be Brighton? honest. Chris Wood scored a goal against us like this from the left side, dribbling in. He was messy that day, by the way, but I don't know if that will happen again. Yeah, it was. But, uh, yeah, what's uh, I mean, you know, looking was pretty good. Right nice touches, but you, are... you have to ask about the level, I guess. But he um, he's played, or well, I don't know if he he's played, played he's league, been yeah. in England before, hasn't he? He's been with uh, Coventry and Brighton, yeah. hasn't he? So I don't know if he ever played for them. He played for Coventry. But yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. Like, um, is he Premier League equipped? Don't often see Brighton let players go if they're really top notch, unless they get big well, money for them. I mean, I, I get the never played in the Premier League uh, argument, but I mean, we can't go in life that every. I mean, are we going to wait until uh, everybody comes to the Premier League for us to, to see it? Some of the Premier Leagues don't work out anyway, <laughs> so. Some of the players that have played in the Premier League or, or came before and, and all that stuff. So I'm not necessarily – I mean, I do understand the argument, but I, it's, to me it's not life or death if they played in the Premier League before. I, I guess it could be a good positive thing, but I mean, do you guys really think that's that's a big deal if they played or not? No, not so much that. I think it was more the fact that he'd been at Brighton and they hadn't really played him. Uh, I wasn't too sure if – maybe he oh, wasn't right, ready right. at the time because he's quite young, isn't he, Twenty. A bit like five. what Chris has put here. He is at Coventry, oh. and not not one Premier League club's looked at him while he's, while he's at Coventry. So if he is pulling up trees over there, other teams would have looked at him. Uh, his age worries me as well. Um, is he twenty five? You know, is he? Yeah, so they all no. So uh, uh, yeah, he's he um, twenty five. I think it says on Wiki anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, he's oh, okay, 25 okay. and 296 days. Oh, well, that's very accurate. Mm. Gosh, he's nearly 26. Swedish. Yeah, that is sort of nearly 26. Age. Exactly. That's why I put the 298 yeah. days in. Oh. Yeah, by the summer, he'll yeah. be right in that wheelhouse. But yeah, he's, um, I don't know, he, he maybe as a, as a second striker, he, he seems like he stays fit, doesn't he? He played, so he only missed one game in the championship for Coventry in two seasons. So, mm. so he's a guy who can be relied upon in that way. He's, he's very good attacking, but not so good defending. Looking at all his stats on uh, yeah. He's a striker, man. Uh, you know, he's a yeah, striker. Yeah. That's what he does. But for 43 million. million. Four and a half progressive oh. carries per 90. Two and a half successful take-ons. Average eight touches in the box. And 11 progressive passes. So, that you know, that's... <sighs> They are they are they are good stats. But, yeah. Now again, I'm talking about they they here have him listed for uh, taking over Callum Wilson's job, which would be the second striker. So it's not really, I mean, you know, essentially couldn't doesn't have to be a bad deal. I mean, 
just to bring in. We need a striker anyway. I, I would believe that anybody that could be a third or second striker would be well taken. Or would do we just stay with Callum Wilson? Can't. Depends. Can't. Mm. And, uh, it depends I'd be loath that. to get rid of Callum Wilson, to be honest. I mean, we know he's injury prone. We wouldn't get when he's fun. fit, he is quality. And for if you're trying to shop in the bar, bargain basement for a striker, you're not going to get anywhere near Callum Wilson for that sort of money. Albeit you may get somebody who plays every week, but you ain't going to get a Callum Wilson uh, standard player. I just think we should be looking higher than that. I think we should be we yeah. should be spending a lot of money this summer on a striker. And and course, that's well, well, he's the caliber million for him. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. 60 to 70. Yeah, they can keep him for that much. Yeah. Guess. 43 I'd million. Rather, I'd, rather get, I'd rather get Tony 60 or 70. Well, well South, South Links, South Links uh, uh, brings up a good point. Oh, well, you're showing his comment. Uh, and yeah. by the way, congrats! Uh, you got you got given a, a membership away. Uh, you got gifted a membership last night. So, congrats, South uh, Links, uh, for that. And he's a second striker. Sporting one sixty to seventy. Well, I read that they won 42, 43, which I, I still believe is high uh, for uh, for a second mm -hmm. striker. And um, so, yeah, he might not work, but to be honest. We still, I, I think that us as a club will be better benefited if we look to fulfill our squad, strengthen our squad overall and not just one particular position. Because I think they, like old man was saying, we need to get spend all our money on a striker, but we still have yeah. midfield issues. We still have center back issues. We still got, because we don't have a deep squad. So the, the squad we've got right now. If they were all fit, it's a cracking squad. Yeah, but that's a big if. And and this this season well, we, it did is, a, it is, we played it, we played it, it, a, this season we played an if and look what happened. Yeah, well, well, no, no, the wheels came off. We know they did. But what I'm saying is, the squad that we've got, bear in mind, we've never seen Tenali yet, so he's a brand new, proper midfielder coming in. Right. Harvey Barnes, hopefully, he's never been injured the way he's been injured for us this season in his whole career. So he'll hopefully stay fit for the majority of the season. Yeah. We, we, we should only forget about strengthening the squad. We need to strengthen the first team, the first 11. Well, but that's why. I mean, because again, it's you're going position. to have. You're gonna have it. Well, Roy, what is your take on this? On this guy? Yeah, uh, him for seventy million, no way. It's even six. No, no, not the way. It's seventy million. Well, I'm reading forty-three, so I don't know. Even, 55, even, even, 55 million euros on transfer market. Even, even, and even his that. Con contract expires June twenty-eight, so he's got three years. You're not gonna get him on the cheap. Fix the squad means we we'll start with the problem areas, which is the right wing, left back. And maybe <laughs> long stuff. So first thing you do is you buy a right winger before you get a striker because you got two. Especially if we're not in Europe, we're not going to have that pressure of those extra games. So fix what's wrong when you're 11, which is your left back and your right wing. Denali's back, so we're not going to see much of long stuff next season. And then you've got long stuff, Willock, and Miley fighting for that third spot with somebody's missing. So you're going to get Bruno, Joel Linton, if he signs, and Tonali. That's the other three in the middle. None of the other three has got a chance against them. So you don't mm. need to field for now. Fix the right wing first, and then fix your left back. And you need to sell target. Or so get rid of Jamal Lewis. You've got five or six of them. They're all useless. Mm, there's about six five left. Back, five. <laughs> and you maybe even, maybe even buy a centre back because Potman's not going to play till Christmas. Hmm. But yeah, well, we yeah, like, we'll definitely need a centre back. But you get like if we're in Europe, left but, back and the but if we're in Europe, if we're in Europe, then I would say we'll need right wing, striker, centre back. Leave the left back for later because we've got so many of them. 
Haaland well, is going to sign. About, I mean, we, we don't know how young Murphy's going to progress because he looked the business at uh, pre pre season last season, and he's never had a sniff this season. Uh, yeah. uh, last season you can understand because Cher and uh, Botman were playing so well, but with a Botman injury, you know Jamal yeah. came in. But I would, I would have quite liked to have seen Murphy giving a, a shout in some of the games, at least. Uh, which, again, gets back to Eddie not rotating, he's not going to Yeah, he's not going to trust the young kid. If yeah. he doesn't lo- trust Hall on in, on the left, because he's young and inexperienced, he's not going to trust another kid, a centre-back, which is more vital. Yeah. And even our big boys make stupid mistakes these days, so... Having a young kid there will be a disaster at the moment. So, right wing, centre back, striker. <coughs> if we're not in, if we're in Europe, if we're not in Europe, right wing, centre back, maybe a left back. If if uh, we're not in Europe. Um, now, other players from Sporting that we are linked to are Ignacio uh, in the Odande, which we mentioned the Odande a few weeks back. But uh, these are big. You got to spend a lot of money on these because Ignacio is said to be uh, at 60 million euros, 51 yeah. million pounds, roughly, yeah, and uh, 80 million euros for Diodande, which you really have to spend. I mean, these, 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 according to Sporting, I mean, from these prices, these are like diamonds that they want to cash on and cash in. And then, but again, I, I, I mean, even though they're playing, I think they're nice players. I just, I just don't know, man. I, I mean, it, you know, it's a lot of money for, for these cats, and they're all for sporting for whatever reason. Mm. Well, maybe if we um, take their sporting director, we can get them on the cheap. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> not not the ex Benfica director, but the sporting director. <laughs> but I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what you guys, you got, you guys, <laughs> what you guys believe. I mean, these players seem to be all right, but uh, certainly too much money, isn't it? 60 million, 80 million, that's a lot. I mean, it's a lot. I don't know. So we we got those. I don't think we've got that much money, have we? Probably not. I reckon we got up to eighty, maybe somewhere around there, plus yeah. sales. So uh, sell me again, long stuff, and that, it'll take you up to one forty, probably. Mm. Uh, yes, Lewis Money is injured for at least six weeks of a back injury. Got another back, back injury, injury, huh? Uh, yeah, that's the fourth one we've had. Great. Obtained it in the end of twenties, apparently. Don't know what he did, but no. yeah, so he's out. Damn it. Another injury. Another <laughs> injury. Six weeks. Another uh, uh six just call the season. Then. Just call the week uh, season <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> just keep injecting long staff's now. ankle, it'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh it's very much a travesty. I did a video today actually at almost twenty minutes without meaning to about about what I think the injuries are coming from and essentially it can be a mixture of of everything just combined but uh i mean louis miley you can say uh, a lot of pressure a lot of uh, miles on the young body <laughs> that's not really fit uh six weeks in the gas terms that's four months <laughs> yeah well six yeah. weeks that means no, you're not right. going to see him till probably the last two games or something of the season and then is he really is he really uh, going to get on the pitch yeah, see you, next, see you next season, mate. Well, I've got news oh. anyway. Um, my mates who were in Dubai saw Joe Linton training. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, do you even stuff. risk? Do you do you risk that anymore? Do you do you risk? No, he, 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 he wasn't training with the bigger lads. He was just doing his own thing, and so you never know. A couple of weeks, maybe. Nice. <laughs> Fingers crossed. That would help, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Mid April, end of at least three, four games at the end, something like yeah. that. Yeah, I, I forget who was arguing with me the other week. I think it might have been you, Chris, actually. <laughs> when I when it, I was saying, when I was saying, you cannot play Louis Miley game after game after game after game. He's 17 years old, he hasn't got the body for it. I rest my case, Millard. Well, he needs to have the he he needs to he can work towards getting the body body for yes. I mean, but you, he's got to be money. So he needs to get on that. 
He need, he Just because we are desperate, you can't risk his career. Well, then, Tristan, I mean, Tristan doesn't, about... uh, doesn't think you're telling the uh, tr truth there. Say again, sorry, Oh, there we oh, go. Come on, go. whack it on the screen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um... <laughs> okay. We'll get the photo up. I don't know, though, Derek. Yeah, I think Miley has been injured for, you know, he's, he's not started a game for quite a few weeks before the but... other 20s. Mm. And that, that is actually that is very true, man. Thank I see that's why thank you, DX. Miley because injured. he hasn't been playing. I haven't seen anything about a Miley injury for Newcastle. It's all over X, mate. M Miley's injured, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> where are you where are you Well, you've got to believe it, then if it's on X, I never follow Keith, Keith Downey, uh the usually the, the, all the uh, you know oh, it's all, all, over the place, all the all the IT kids. No, 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 no real journalists have, have said the cool it. kids. Yeah. But I mean, he's. Uh, I mean, what do you do? What are you, what are you going to do? I mean, he hasn't been hurt in a long time. He, I think, he was uh, had an issue earlier this season. Maybe oh, he was sick. I think or no, no, that was Livermento. Yeah. Uh, but so eventually, he can. He's allowed to get hurt. The problem is that we can't, you know, Great keep hate. anybody fit at this point. Essentially, somebody's going to get hurt. That's fine. Lewis Miley, he, he hasn't had a bad record this season of injuries. Unlike Isak, for example, who just keeps going back and going back and going back. Well, so so it's not really the fact that Lewis Miley got hurt; is the fact that we keep getting players hurt, regardless of who it is. And uh, so it's uh, it's a tough, tough situation. Tristan St. Chris, uh, Jolinton, teared. Man, I hope you didn't. Uh, well, we're gonna use Tor on uh, on this end. Tore his thighs. That's a six month recovery, and he won't be back this season. Well, I didn't say, I, I mean, I, I believe that I heard that he could he be was, back at the end towards the end of the season or for the last game, which he would be. He was jogging to put him on, yeah. And uh, but just find it, Can't yeah, find you find it. that he well, how long has he been out for, Joe Linton? He's been out for a couple of months already for a while. Joe Linton's been, Joe Linton's been out for almost three months now, yeah. Mm. So that it would almost flip. cover the five months, then he's probably Genu January, January 6th. Yeah, so he'd be a quick three. healer. He could he had a surgery. Strong, he, so. he had a surgery, yeah. so it wasn't left to heal by itself. So mm. never... yeah, there's one player who had the surgery, wasn't he? Out of all of them. <laughs> yeah, every single one of them should have had a surgery. Justin was just giving the magic sponge. <laughs> yeah. I'll find yeah, it. I'll it, find it. Uh, it's certainly a situation to monitor, but let's let's go back to the transfer uh rumors and players. Um, any last thoughts on Gonzalo Ignacio and uh Osman Diodande? Um, would be amazing was... coming into the center if we can make them, yeah. I, I think they're too expensive for what they are. It was it, man? Yeah, could be, but I mean, how, how much did, yeah. did I mean, Chelsea spent for, for Enzo yeah, Fernandez? I, I mean, you, you know, you're talking. Mm. With all due respect to Sporting Lisbon and, and the players you've mentioned, your bargain basement there. For to be top okay. four, well. for to be top four in the Prem, you've got to do better than that, man. Uh, I, I, honestly, I, I... I agree the, with you. You're talking to Nani level. Isaac. Bruno Botman, that's the four caliber mm. that you want to buy. Yeah, and, and, and uh, by the Gordon, way, Gordon as well. Gordon as well. Yes, Gordon. yeah. By by the way, I don't Hans. care what anybody says. We got Tenali on the cheap, and the reason yeah. we got him on the cheap was because in the Milan, it, sorry, Milan is knew he? what was coming round the corner. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Uh, well, yeah, nobody knows. Let's definitely, yeah, they, they, definitely very strange the price dropped by 40 percent. there's overnight. nobody telling me that they didn't know allegedly <laughs> yourself um, no this is me this has got nothing to do with this, this is show Derek. this is me <laughs> Derek's Derek. Latin, the mighty win is saying <laughs> come and yeah, come yeah, and sober you let me get the evidence you won't get yeah. to it by yourself man don't drag me into that crap uh <laughs> now that the next player on the list, ladies and gents, is going to be um, the fellow named. 
what what is his damn name? I lost it. Uh, Joe R- Joe Radon. Uh, I keep wanting to say Rondon, but uh, is is Joe <laughs> Radon? Name for Rondon again, are we? Scored scored for Venezuela yeah. uh, at the Did weekend. We? Uh, I'm sure, but I'll tell you something. I wouldn't go to war with Guam if I was Venezuela with those weapons they got. So uh, you know, it's not it's not uh, much to say that he scored for Venezuela, <laughs> even though they're having a good, they're good South American. Uh, uh, they're doing well, but come on, man. I mean, um, so goals. I mean, he does have no stats to be honest. He's played nine games, started nine, 87 minutes uh, per game average, and is pretty much a pale. Uh, a pale. Uh, he's a young. Uh, let me see how how old this guy is, man. He plays. He plays at Leeds United, by the way. Welsh, twenty six year old, twenty six, forty three Oh, I read. I read something different then. Um, defender. So, um, I mean, do we need somebody like him? I mean, uh, again, we're talking. We're 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 scraping the bottom of the barrel, to be honest, because we're just looking at players that. If I'm going to go to the bargain basement, I'd rather be in the bargain basement for defenders than creative midfielders and attackers. It's it's it's, it's much easier to destroy a painting than it is to paint a painting. It's much easier to defend than it is to attack. Right. So we need to spend our money on creativity and goals. Now I think Bill is saying he played a Spurs. He he wasn't he wasn't shite. Oh yeah, he was a Spurs, wasn't he? I'm looking at it right now. It was he Swansea has, as he, well. So we should have got the team, can he? Couldn't get the team. Yeah. We should have gotten Mason to, to tell us how he how he performed at Swansea. Mm-hmm. And then um yeah, so went to Spurs and played it in France, I believe. I'm looking at the emblems here. Nearly and then, twenty-seven. Uh, he came right. Uh nearly twenty-seven. Oh yeah, he played uh, uh Reigns. Um, Tottenham Hotspur twice or three times. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Well, it would be the the end of his loan is going to be in twenty four. Yeah. Did they say? But yeah, I guess. Okay, so he's at Leeds right now. But uh, I, mean, I mean, again, we're scraping out the bottom here, man, because we are not linked with players that are actually <laughs> going to get the fans excited, and that is my concern. But at the end of the day, if that's what we got, that's what we got, man. You know, what what do you guys think right here? Yeah, Big I'm just loving it. Not for me. Uh, I think if you're going to go for the bargain basement, just <clears throat> offer Lloyd Kelly forty grand a week. I don't know, fifty grand a week. Just get him in. Yeah. Big signing on fees. I would have gone right. Ronda, Ronda's got another okay. year. Yeah, probably got. Now, well, I got another money. little. I got another little surprise here. Then, uh, according to the fourth official. Uh, Newcastle United are scouting this 16-year-old talent, Ooh. one for the future. For Good and he's playing. He's a little tiny Macam. He is playing at Sunderland right now. 16 uh, years old, uh, midfielder, left-footed, nice little. You know, one of those short left-footed players, five ten, really not that short. I mean, but according to to, to footballers, um, but 16 years old, man. You know, I mean. Player value two two ninety k, which I guess is not that's not crazy. We could, I mean, but sixteen years. So, of age, so, so we're now saying that the Macam Academy Rick. is better than ours. It is better than uh, ours. Did, did, well, did, did, just did that one hear? player at least. Well, is it? No, 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 hundred percent is better than ours, and I'm not joking. Yeah, they do. Their academy uh, is better than ours. It's been better than well, ours. That's that, that's where years. that's where their chairman's spending all his money, isn't it? He's putting it yeah. all into the academy. Mm. Uh, well, I think over 20 that's, years that's, over 20 years has been he's a big Newcastle fan isn't he Chris Rigg and his family apparently they're all Newcastle fans so that could be a goer but he could have come before and rejected the chance because he thought he'd get more chances at Sunderland but this season with the injuries we've had he probably would have played a few games I think he would have been there or thereabouts yeah well, don't, don't forget um, you know we've got the likes of Harrison coming through as well Alfie yeah, Alfie Harrison. Yeah. But we bought we we bought him. So are you talking yeah. to Alfie or the other one? Alfie, uh, Joe and Alfie. Yeah, yeah, Alfie. We 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 bought him. So we're not really doing great in ours. I got Lewis Miley. I mean, that's a, that's good. But uh, I mean, sixteen year old kid. I mean, even if we get him, he'll probably go to the kindergarten uh, squad. Mm-hmm. 
So I mean, it's a, it's a really. We, we do want to be spend any money on on kids. And also, There's they've a, got the a, uh, other Miley, haven't they, at Sunderland? There's three Miley's in Newcastle, and one at Sunderland. We may as well get him back. Like, a, like, like a sibling? <laughs> yeah, get apparently. him into the fold. So oh, is that right? Saying. Yeah, the youngest Miley. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that is crazy. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know that at all. Um, okay, well, I mean, I guess a big no on the little Macam. No, I want I want Chris Rigg. I'll be happy with that. He's a you would be happy? Yeah. The eggs. What are you talking about? As a man? youth signing, it would cost peanuts. You know, it would be fine. Oh yeah, and do you I, get, I guess that. Does it go towards FFP if it's a player for the youth team? I don't think it does, does it? So it wouldn't well, affect uh, that anyway. Uh, if it's if it's changing clubs, it does. Yeah. Had you been in our academy late? Like? In our academy, I don't think so. Well, that is it's a transfer straight. I thought if it was like Sanusi or someone like that, it doesn't count towards the uh, FFP. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Now, well, I got another one. I got another one, folks. This one could maybe, you know, make you feel better. Uh, and um, according to Tuto Juve, <laughs> journalist um, Mirko Di Natale claimed that Newcastle United are among the clubs hoping to sign Shakhtar Donetsk playmaker Georgie, uh, which that uh, cool name for, you know, coming to a Georgie club. Georgi Sadakov, something like that, uh, playing at Shakhtar Donetsk. And uh, hmm. I'm horrible at it, but 21 years old, five foot ten, midfielder, plays well with both feet, Ukrainian, uh, number 10 for Shakhtar, for whatever that's worth. Um, worth about 18 <laughs> million right now. And uh, yeah, I mean, play there the whole time. I'm hearing crickets. I'm hearing crickets, man. <laughs> Yeah, I've never heard of him. What mm. who did you play for us? So well, I'm, trying to, I'm, I'm trying to get him with Chris Chris's pronunciation. <laughs> no, dude, I'm, to, I, I'm I'm the worst at that crap. So he's 21 but years old. S U D A K O V. S U D A K O V. And so Sudakov. Uh, exactly. So sounds like um, a cough medicine or something, doesn't it? Yeah, Sudafed, yeah. <laughs> F U D A K O V S S U D. S Sudakov. Oh, Sudakov. As in Suda, whatever. He or he. And he's a midfielder. He's he's been his heat map been all over the place, man, in that midfield. Um 21, right footed midfielder, attacking midfielder. He's been participating in 24 matches for his current uh team right now, Shakhtar. Been a Ukrainian sensation. Hey man, he wow. he, he wears his socks short. He he wears his socks short. You know those are good play playmakers, man. Yeah, well, well, I found it. There's Joe Linton, but I can't show you the kid. There, <laughs> the he is. there he is in Dubai. You're, Told you. I'll uh, wait. wait You're I'll, hooked I'll, up I'll, on that, man. I'll, Apparently, he's a hundred million to buy this kid. Hundred million. That's well. That's what Tristan says. Well, you take what Tristan says with a grain of salt, ladies and gentlemen. Just like it, because we, I haven't, yeah. I haven't, I haven't looked it up yet. Um, and nor do I mean, do we really know how much they cost? I mean, you wouldn't know that unless you ask the damn club. So apparently, he's got, apparently he's got a release course, eh? All right, go look at the release. Yes. What? Where do you see this, man? <laughs> are you are you in the, Are you in the no, Tristan? You need to be on the show then, if you're in the no. Other people are agreeing. Yeah, it is a hundred million. Well, god dang it. Uh, it looks like Tyneside <laughs> will never see him. Probably not. Chelsea uh, might. Chelsea might, but I mean, well, that's hundred million on players. It seems to be seems to be a, a sensation over in the Ukrainian side of things. Um, I've sent okay. it to the group. He's no Rooney Bargy though, is he? Okay, so I got another one, and I'm gonna send you guys. Look, I'm surprised with the amount of players that we are linked to. I mean, I've been. Uh, we know we had a transfer show for two weeks now, and uh, I've been gathering and gathering. And all of these are pretty much uh, uh, new new rumors. And I just I just put the uh, the the name out there. By the way, I will be I will be honest with that picture that you sent. Um, that says nothing. He's just in training gear. He he's not running. He's not. No, I mean, for, he was... as far as I know, he's not even walking. Somebody could have placed him there. So. 
you know, I will be on Tristan's side on this one. You are selling shite. And you know what? You're trying to do YouTube politics. And you know what I what I feel about YouTube politics? I can't be bothered with all this yeah. YouTube politics, to be honest. <laughs> um, <laughs> what, what boots is he wearing? He's wearing uh, training he's shoes. He's running on the he, he looks yeah. like he's been doing some sort of workout for death and that. Yeah. He does seem like, yeah, he could have been yeah. doing biceps. I've got another one of Wilson, and he's wearing boots with studs. Really? Yeah. <laughs> David Lee says, Suda A cough. Oh, but his peck was his injury, wasn't it? <laughs> Suda <Yeah>. Fed. <laughs> hey, I send I send the name uh the, the other one that we're gonna bring up uh in the Antonale. chat if you want to look him up. And how do you say that name by the way? Dean Hod Hodgson. Um, Wishing. Okay, what the fuck? Uh Juventus <laughs> defender Dean has been linked with a move away from Italy, and multiple English clubs are keen on him as well as uh, clubs like Arsenal and Man U. And I guess Newcastle United is set to compete against these two guys over an 18-year-old defender. Um, that does not surprise me because he is a he is a player. Yeah, You like him? Is he, is he oh, a, yeah. on a free? Yeah. Yeah, sadly not. <laughs> uh, well, let's have a look. Transfer marked. 100 million. Uh, I got to look up that website. FM Manager. Okay. Hundred. Every player seems to have a one hundred million. It's, it's going to take, it's, it's gonna well, take I mean, us yeah, five or six it, years to get to that point. Yeah, well, we've got to set up. Once, first, once we get to that point, those top six will go. Will be will go for one hundred and fifty million players. Up to next. I mean, um, yeah. he's unlikely to get any regular opportunities to play at Juventus and uh, next season. So therefore, it will be interesting to see where he goes. Italian guy. Um, I mean, I contract expires in June. Oh, really? Right. This this June? This June? This June? How old so is it? Right. Free transfer? Contract contract we're, no, no, June. it ain't free anymore. There's no free transfers anymore. That money is will it, go to the players. Is it in? That's in ten million. No. Transfer more. There's a there's a signing on fee which is agreed between the club and his agent yeah. and stuff, which could be yeah. like five hundred thousand, yeah. one million to him. It doesn't matter. They pick it, and then he's in. But Juventus gets now, unless there's no Juventus gets now. Yeah, but the money go. I'm telling you, man, the player's gonna. He's he's got the right to to his own uh, transfer fee, so they're gonna pay him. But you gotta he'll pay demand, somebody. He'll demand. No, it's not transfer fee. It's called fee. signing on fee. Hmm. Which is like how... Mbappe's doing. Yeah, Real Madrid exactly. are giving. They're gonna Mbappe give him a massive. lot of money. Trust me. 150 oh, million. Awesome. Oh, oh, the other way around it is. Um, so let's say he gets paid 100 a week. And the club is getting him for nothing. He'll say, "Look, you have to pay me 150. You get me for nothing. Pay me 150 mm, yeah. a week." Which is no, you, the way the way we so. do that is saying non pay. I would think. Yeah, he played 12 games last year. Oh, is that it? Yeah, yeah, but Juve they've got quite a lot of centre backs, haven't they? Yeah, they have. Say what? If, if we get him, not gonna get him in. if he comes in on a zero. Free transfer, brilliant. Yeah, and couldn't then, argue with that one. This is where we need to be smart, and, isn't it? With, uh, with him and Lloyd Kelly, defence side. Yeah, and this is where we can be. Um, yeah. Miggy, Miggy's a replacement, right wing. I mean, if Minte comes in in the pre-season and he kicks ass, that's it, sorted. Get rid of Miggy. Well, keep then, Murphy? Well, I'll you, keep what Murphy you... over Miggy. Yeah. Younger. Yeah. You can, yeah. He's, he's one year. One years. year younger. What would you is say, he? Paul? Yeah. 29, and I think Miggy's 30, isn't he? Oh. Well, get, sell one. But, one. Yeah. I would sell. I would, you get, you sell get more money for Miggy, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'll get more money for Miggy. And I, I actually, I, I, I prefer Murphy now. Especially the oh. last few games. This is loan contract, apparently. Uh, there you go. Our hopes um, are dashed. Uh, <laughs> well, another another young name linked is oh. uh, another Let's young see, guy. Not coming. And, and I guess we are competing against a Bundesliga a clubs for him, and that's uh, Blackburn Rovers youngster Rory Finneran. Um, and uh, I, according to the score, he's 16 years old, mate. Mm. Uh, Right-footed wow, Irish guy midfielder not much of anything really as far as strengths and and weaknesses 
but he plays for Blackburn. He's been playing for the Ireland under-17 squad. And again, another young kid. I mean, I, I don't know. He joined the championship uh, side as a kid, and he has progress through the ranks at Ewood Park. So uh, yeah, we're being linked with these guys, man. I, I mean, it's, it's kind of, uh, I guess, demoralizing in a sense because we are linked with players that maybe we hope that we weren't uh, or maybe bigger names, better names, more established players. But, but we have to be seem- smart, don't we? That's the thing. Mm-hmm. We can't just, you know, if we want to work around all this rubbish, you know, we, we get bored of talking about it. But, you know, you have to be sensible when it comes to stuff. And, you know, as much as it might not be the big names that some people want, you do kind of have to play a bit smart in, in, the, in the window. Um, and this is where, you know, having that director of football in is going to help us, hopefully, because they can they can look at these sort of things. And, you know, I mean, look, look at some of the players we've got in the past. You know, we've got people like Shah for like Peanuts and look at, look at what he turned into. Kabai, I mean, mm. again, we got him for a pinch, really, and look at how great he was. Yeah. Um, you know, these are the things that, you know, a sensible club needs to be doing this because you can't, no matter who you are, I don't care if you're Man City, Man United, whatever, you can't keep spending 90, 80, 90, you know, 100 million. It's, it's ridiculous. You just can't do it. Mm. And especially with where they want, you know, where you want it to be financially anyway, it's, it's mad. Um, you know, the only way it will stop is, as we said before, sadly, is uh, if Super League comes in because who cares then? They, they were, you know, they were putting these spending caps in there. So, yeah. but who wants that? That will ruin football. And we do need to work on that youth side of the team anyway. We, the, like we have for years had a dearth of young players coming through, haven't we? The best ones in recent years have been Carroll, Stephen Taylor, Dummett, mm. Longstaff. It's not exactly a who's who of great English footballers or, or anything, is it? So if, do you need to kind of work on that side? And I think it's not, it's not a bad thing that we're looking at some young kids, but we also need to look at first team players. That's the thing. Mm. Need to get the mix. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with that, man. But uh, I mean, I don't know that if the 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 ideal situation is getting these sixteen year olds. I mean, I think you can find a balance. I mean, uh, yeah, you know, I'm more sta- more more, more, sta- more established players, I guess you can say. But yeah, I, I, w- I wouldn't buy them if we can't improve them. And at the moment, we're not improving them because the academy is still useless. So there's, there's no point. Mint is fine because he came in and he went out on loan. Um, the Aussie lad, uh, what's his name? Kual. Yaran Kual. Kual. Yeah, Kual, yeah. Came in, was sent on loan. You sent in someone like that with a flair to Scottish clubs in the north. You just hoof the ball. He doesn't touch the ball. It's not going to work out. So it was, it was the same with Matty Longstaff as well. They sent him to that club in Scotland and it was just hoof the ball and he doesn't get the ball there. Mm. Which is not going to improve him. He's better off staying at the club and training with the first team. No, uh, we also got... I don't know doing much. No, we, we also got this... Uh, I don't know if you guys knew, but we do have a Peruvian in the squad. And his yeah. name is Rod- Rodrigo Bilca, and uh, he's on loan as well. And, and uh, you know, uh, I'm just throwing my little Peruvian in there in the in the conversation. Um, and he might oh, not be good he? enough either, but he, but either either he's good enough or not. 25, isn't he? Or 26? He, he's getting old. And, and, and again, either he's good enough or not. Twenty six. All the, all the all these loans. Maybe no, twenty five. He's not that. He was, uh, he's uh getting... Doesn't matter. No, if he's twenty five, we've never heard of him. He was... Chris, he's, he's, 25, he's Yeah, well, he's he not. Might, he might be. That's fine. Good. But I'm saying, but so, so are other players. I'm not gonna name because I'm a nice guy. And if they are on loan, then they need to get the hell out. If they're not gonna be twenty five, there is no purpose for these they guys would. if they're not going to be played. If you're 25, like Hayden or many others, he's got to go, man. You got to go. I mean, well, what is the point? Tell me how good can they be on another year on loan? We're going to be 26, 27. Hard, hard to sell them, aren't they? Because of their wages. You it's can't, hard to get man, can't sell guys. them. We're stuck. Easier with them. said than done. Mm, you um, really believe that Rodrigo Vilca or any of these guys are getting paid so much money that nobody else will take them? I don't believe that. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, does I mean, he, does, really? Voz does, no, does he play for Peru? Though? No. Does he play for Peru? Hell to the no. He is. Yeah, so there you go. If he's not good enough to play for Peru. 
Well, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I highly doubt that his uh, that his salary is this huge salary that nobody can, 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 can. Yeah, but he's, he's probably not good enough to. He was signed under Mike Ashley league. in 2020, so he's been with us for a while. But he's been loaned out to a bunch of clubs. The best of those has been Doncaster Rovers. So yeah, I'm not. Wow, great things. No, he, he's shit. Keegan I, Country. Yeah, no, he, he's, he's, he's shit. I would say shit. I've never seen him play, and I think he's shit already. But I, Isaac, <laughs> Isaac, Isaac Hayden is shit too. Yeah. Isaac uh, Hayden really wasn't shit. He, he, he's, well, shit. he's not shit now. He's just old now. But oh, by the way, shout out to Ragtune. Ragtune uh, is um um. Uh, does he live in South Africa? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's okay, Steven. So he's gonna be that's Steve. So he's gonna be on the uh, talk of the tune worldwide uh, tomorrow. So. Nice to see Rock the Tune on the chat. Yeah, it's good, lads. Uh, look up. The uh, Tiger Studios has a question, I guess, for the panel. What are mm. your expectations for the summer transfer? What does it take to be 10 out of 10 win? Man, we're mm. not going to have no damn 10 out of 10 fixing win. Those three, fixing those three positions. And also selling. Or now, I'm, I'm getting rid of all the dead wood. I'm going <laughs> to give you my honest opinion. I told you, if we make European football, I'm going to shave my head on live on the live show. Because it's not, I really don't believe it's going to happen. Uh, but you're going to do the full Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. Skinhead. Yeah, no, I will. Zero. Skinhead. Zero. Zero. I'll zero. shave everything. I'll, mine. Shave, mine and my I'll shave everything everywhere. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. You don't have to go that far. Oh, it, might, <laughs> it might not be live. It might be for the members. No. It might not be for the members. Yeah, do one for the members. Yeah. Yeah. Zero. 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 I'm up, yeah. And because I just I mean, listen, I, I'm I, now I, I went from being uh, th- this is what this is what certain fans do to th- done to me, man. Because I'm like, I used to think that we could accomplish everything because you know, together, believe me, together we can change history. So, does that okay? <laughs> but now I'm just like, every time I feel like we got to do something, we don't do it. So, at this point, I just gave up, and um, and even though. I think I think we might finish ninth. We might fight for that eighth, but even then, the eighth spot is not guaranteed. So, you know, I, I, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. And, it's looking more guaranteed, by the way. It, well, this is uh, we shall if, see. If you man. if I take the threats out on Man United, no, they've already confirmed they're not going to. Uh, have they? Oh, I'm, I'm you came out today. Not, they're not going to do it. Of course, they're not going to do it. You're going to get four. You're going to get four teams in the Champions League, and then you're going to get three in Europa League and one conference. Because last but, season it was eight, but I we mean, need. No, it's if, a possible um, five in the Champions League. We, we, we are man you. We man you to win the game, and we'll get to the final. So that's one spot. Listen, and then you need um, Villa to win the Conference League, and probably Liverpool or West Ham winning the. Europa League, and which Liverpool win. can very much can. But yeah, the, no, point, the point, the point, the point, they'll here, go to Champions League from that one. The point here is, um, by the way, Rock the Tone says he's not he's not living in South Africa, so I, you, you might want to revisit this old man. I don't know what <laughs> you're doing here. <laughs> you, you're gonna be you're gonna get sacked on your day off. Uh, but um, my point here is, I just don't see. I just don't see that we are going to fix all these. We got to get rid of players. We got to get rid of players that don't play at all. We got to ex- strengthen certain positions all throughout the pitch. By the way, this striker only thing. I don't believe. I think we need we need strikers, and uh, we need wingers. We need midfielders. We need a few center backs because right now mm-hmm. the, we have Lascelles, Shaw, and Botman. And Botman is out. You can't count on them. So you got two. Who else is going to play if somebody gets hurt? Because you Damn know Burn. Burn will not. Listen, man, and as long as Eddie Howe is alive, he will not play him in the center back. I can't remember the last he, time he played him as a center back. He played him when we finished in the second half of the season when we stayed up. And he was really well, good. Uh, yeah, no, he, I know, trust me. And it was he him. Is a and it was him and, you don't have to tell me him. he is a center back. I know that. But <laughs> the fact yeah. is, he doesn't play him there. And well, and, and so now he doesn't trust a hole to play left. Left, uh, we need a left back as well. And so we, we need all the target, these tar- targets fit now. We need all these guys. And do you believe that we're gonna uh get all these players and get rid? It's not, it's not gonna happen. 
That's why I, you know, I don't think I don't believe mm. in this ten out of I've ten. I got faith in Lewis Hall. I think he'll come good. I think he, he has a good opportunity. Apparently, he was very Hall, good man. for the under twenties the last couple of games. Man yeah, of the match well. in the first one. I think he played sort of more central, didn't he? In the first yeah. Match. Did you see the? Did you see his uh, nearly assist? It was unbelievable. Great I ball. didn't actually. What did he do? Oh, really good ball. It was, uh, it was a really nice sweeping uh, cross, and uh, the striker just missed it. Just it would have been a beautiful goal. Really, really mm. nice assist. Uh, good build up played before it as well. So again, my hope is that this stuff is going into Eddie Howe's brain and just like, hmm, he looks pretty decent. Let's try and <laughs> do something with him. Or is he in Dubai watching Dan Byrne? Being, pumping the headers out. Going, yeah, this is this is my life. Left back. No, Left back no, for life. no, no. Let's not all start ganging up. <laughs> no, I like that. I know man, where you live. I do think Hall should. Start. <laughs> uh, Bowen played, didn't he? Bowen played uh, eighty <laughs> minutes today. Yeah, boy. Well, I wonder if that might tire him out a little bit. He put a lot into it, so he's only got four days, and Gordon only got ten minutes, so. He should be fresh. I mean, it, was, it was a horrible game, man. Southgate, get lost, please. So what happened with so the English? Was, with the English he's national team of the week? I've been perfectly honest. I saw, I saw that lineup, and I thought, you know what? That's a that's a half decent lineup. That mm. I, I was quite uh, looking some forward good players, to it. You had Kane to that. And you got something clueless, clueless tactics. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, it, it's it's the same old, same old from Southgate. All he does is he puts these great players on the pitch and he just hopes for some individual magic from one of them, uh, which, which we got well. from Bellingham, of course, for to get the equaliser. Uh, great ball from Madison, but, wasn't it? England, yeah. England should never play with two holding midfielders again. Just one's enough. Yeah, he just one is enough over. for the... He just over keeps respecting, doing it. Yeah, over respecting those teams, other teams. Mm. You're better than Brazil. That's you're it. better than France in the World Cup. You're better than Italy in the final. But you had to play two defensive midfielders like a fanny. And he's just he's used to playing or he's coaching fearful, small man. teams. You just put those. You go four one four one. You honestly, if he goes four one four one, it will destroy teams. Yeah. But if. Is a pussy. I'm on your side there, Roy, for a change. Yeah, it's 4 1 4 1. So, you, two number eights or two tens, one hold. Declan Rice just by himself. Yeah. Bellingham is back and forth anyway, box to box. Mm. And then just get another, like Madison Bellingham or someone. Is, yeah. Bellingham and Kane, that's the. But ticket, he's, he's wasted, man. He's yeah. wasted. Foden mm -hmm. as well. They're all and wasted, got, man. The way he yeah, and Maguire he's, again. He's shit. Why are you playing him, man? The fear factor. Well, he didn't. Well, actually, play, yeah, he played Dunk, Stone, didn't he? Dunk made a mistake. Stone, Stone went off after what was it? And Pickford made Stone? a big mistake. Walker, Walker, <laughs> Walker oh, was a mistake. Yeah. Old dinosaur arms. Okay, embarrassing. <laughs> I tell you what, though, man, that Bellingham, he's a player and a half, isn't he? Yeah. So who he run is. the show in midfield? Yeah. Like who run the show in I'll midfield? Tell you what. But, uh, man, I'm, I'm just afraid he might, if this continues, which. At some point, it's got to end. By the way, I mean, you know, the 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 FA should have like a like a U.S. president's rule. Can't be damn manager more than two terms. You got, you know, because because the way it goes, Southgate is going to be the manager for the 50, next fifty years. And if that happens, ladies and gents, uh, Bellingham is just going to be another wasted Steven Gerrard. Even though I think he might be just better, he might be better than Steven Gerrard. Even though I don't I don't know that he has the same foot, which is. Steven Gerrard was amazing, let's be honest. Dif different uh, qualities. But uh, might be just the same, you know, We're wasted. Just in 4-3-1-2. Like... What's that? Oh, that... Yeah. Oh, sorry. I mean, uh, that was for Real Madrid. And you're talking about England yeah. for the first time in how many years I... has the best player in the world at the moment? I mean, when is that? When's the last time that happened? I well, mean, he, he needs to play in his right position. To perform. Yeah. He's a ten. Well, we've got half. We've probably got half a dozen of the top ten. Yeah, of course. But um, incredible talent, isn't it? You yeah, know, it's unbelievable. You got one. How do you one like? Of Matt, matter of fact, I, I got, I got, I got kind of shown up the other day because I was saying, you know, we've we've seen it all before. You know, the golden generation of uh, 
2010 South Africa. Uh, the, and, and 2006 the, and the was kid, the best the one kid, for me. The kid saying to me, he says, that it's not in the same league, is it? I said, what are you talking about? I says, well, I had Rooney, Gerrard, Lampard. Man, nine, 2006 was yes. even better than 2010. John, no, John, 2006 was lethal. Real man. Ferdinand. 2006. Yeah. Real Ferdinand. That was Rooney John, getting cold. Ferdinand and right, no, John Terry in the middle. The, man, point, you... the point is, then I ran out of names to compare them with what we've got at the minute. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> I came up with three quality, real quality. I players. remember 2006 squad when I was a young lad, and I, I thought, man, this English squad looks terrific, man. Uh, Joe Cole, you had, you had uh, uh, um, Ashley Cole on the left side. Uh, man, you guys had a lot. Even Scholes Rooney. made it in 2006. Rooney. Ro yeah, Rooney in front, of course. You had, you had, you still had Gerald and Lampard as well. Gerald and Lampard, no that's, what, that's what I said. Rooney, Gerald, David, Lampard. David Beckham was in, was in 0 yeah. 6 too. Beckham was there. Beckham saved. They played shit in a few games. Yeah. I remember the Ecuador game, and he saved them. with a Oh, my games. God, he saved us in that game. And, yeah. and they, one of my yeah. favorite, if not my favorite uh, shirt for the English squad with, with this cross on the side. It looks so sharp. I've still got uh, that. There's Umbro one. I love that yeah, one, man. So but... Uh, well, I mean that is. You know, uh, the, bit, the, bit, the donkey of that tournament was Rooney. He he let himself. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was terrible. He wasn't fought. He fought well, no, yeah. he, well, he got a red card. Thing is, got, I've got, I've got a theory with Rooney. Both. I've got, got a theory a, with Rooney. The bigger the game, the worse he is. Uh, and the bigger Cristiano, the occasion, Cristiano the worse he is. Cristiano let him. Let him. Uh, he fell into the Cristiano. Uh, no, 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 no. It was Rooney, three World Cups, two Euros. And no, I know, I know, but I'm fine. saying he that in that World Cup wasn't he ejected? Because he, he got a little off. tussle with Cristiano off, Ronaldo. Yeah. yeah, he was sent off. Yeah, I think it was that. Yeah, yeah. he stepped on yeah. him. Yeah, but he, he didn't um, score. He scored one goal. Yeah, his in the record was uh, fourteen. Terrible. Was a tap in. Yeah. Well, last but not least, last but not least, gentlemen. Shit. Um, ah, we always come back. Nice we always come back to this. We've talked about Bruno for a while, but according to EPL Index, um, <laughs> Liverpool and Man City are set to battle for a hundred pound, hundred million pound. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, now listen to this. I mean, well, let me ask you guys this: um, What is the clause? How much would he cost to a Premier League side? A hundred million or more than that? I don't think it applies, well, does it? It didn't the, apply the Premier League. That, that was a it, that was a cut. That's the one thing that we knew. That was a categoric statement from the club. That he's got a hundred million, uh, hundred and ten million, sorry, hundred ten million euro buyout, but oh, but not to a Premiership club. So that, how much that, is the that was a club statement? So how much is it for anybody in the Premier League? So I wouldn't sell well, it for under one thirty what, million. What what I, what I would want for him? Yeah, and I'd say one thirty, ah, take or leave it. Yeah, because now we're not owned by Mike Ashley anymore. Uh, these Correct. teams, you're, you're, you're doesn't matter right, your tenth but... or whatever. You're, you're right. Mate, if but... I was sitting there on the chair, the city comes, I'm saying, Look, mate, you want this guy to pay 140 million, 139, you can fuck off, 140, yes, and I'll, I'll haggle with them up to one million pounds, 139, mm -hmm. I'll say no, 140 taken. You're right, but and still, because these are our competitors, we'll never yeah. replace him, we'll never but replace him, yes, yes, but when the when players want to leave. Yeah, what but if he signs, okay. yeah, but if he puts okay. a transfer request, he loses all his bonuses and loads of stuff that will be taken off. Yeah, and we'll still say to the club, the other club, we're still gonna have to take him for one forty. So he can spare his dummy. He's not going anywhere. He, why Where did he sign see? that paper? Why did yeah, he sign that paper? It's a long contract as well, isn't it? Yeah. So and he can spare his dummy if you want. He won't spare his dummy. I, I could, nah, Bruno's not that type. Of I don't person. think Bruno will spit his dummy out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Especially cool. if Jolinton signed. If Jolinton signs, they'll be fine. Yeah. I right. just regret we didn't sign Paqueta. Uh, if we only would oh, have the cash. Paqueta and uh, Madison in this tune squad. Man, I, 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 I'll be delighted. Well, like, the uh, the betting well, thing would have gone against Ma him. Oh yeah, <laughs> well, Madison, Madison, Madison oh, be yeah. injured all season. Tony would get Tony as well. Yeah, but it didn't though. Well, Paqueta not... didn't get didn't get banned. 
I mean, no, no, I'm saying, but if he paid for us, that's just our luck. Oh, this yeah, season. yeah, the president. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, uh, want, I want Tony, I want Tony, Ivan Tony. Ivan. Yes, he plays. He's good enough to play for England. He's good enough to play for us. And he well, that, 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 listen, enough. whoever call, Southgate calls doesn't mean they're worth playing for England. One year left on his contract. Be. One year left. Get a, get a new so. nickname for the club. Gambler's yeah. Anonymous. Go <laughs> 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 in. You, you look at the Premier League. Fifty. Who's, who are the top strikers? Tony. Who's the big best number nine? Yeah, the thing is, there's not that many great strikers in the Premier League. Well, well this is a good point that. Uh, this is a good point that Kim Cam brings up. But by the way, welcome to the show. I haven't seen you before, so appreciate you coming on. She says uh, Newcastle will not get the prize they want if they are in need of selling. And if we're trying to get this FFP deal situated, that's what I'm saying, man. You, We don't have – listen, we're going to have to sit down and negotiate. We're not just going to be uh, with our noses up and talking. and, and, and all. I mean, We're still going to have to take a little bit of punishment here because once players want to leave, man, it's players. You now you're gonna have a, a a a sad player that doesn't want to be here, and that, that's no good. Essentially, you can it can go down to not playing anymore, being benched, and you're gonna pay a player to do that. So it's it's just it snowballs, and um, it, it, you're never gonna get no 140 from Bruno, man. I, I just don't believe that. But I mean, you we, pay the price you want. Well, I think you get. You, I, I think you probably would. I think you get more for Bruno yeah. than, for example, the paid for. Uh, maybe, maybe. maybe. Well, Villa yeah, did definitely... this with Grealish. Villa did this with Grealish. Right. Is he worth a hundred? Yeah, yeah. Look at him. We've signed uh, him on a contract in twenty twenty eight. So, that's so four I, years I, I definitely. Do you want him? Pay. All right. Mm. All right. Well, um, I'm just. Ho- I'm just we... hoping Joe Linton signs. Everyone's He's more important for me. Joe, Joe, J7 is more important than Bruno for me. And then we've got we have everyone's back. We have a good squad. Just fix those two spots. Yeah. And then go for it. Yeah, that's what I right, see. Right, 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 right wing. Fix the front. Let the back worry about itself. Get rid of the other thing. Try and mint as well. At least you get fresh bases in the team. We look we look a bit bored as well when we play. A bit bored. Yeah, we look like the same team three years now, almost. Hmm. And you just said, we're not fresh. It's the same team that was fighting relegation. Well, Well, fact, Fabian shares. So so which one are you going to choose? Which one are you going to choose then? You got to choose, is this a a relegation squad or is this a Champions League squad? Because it can be both. I think it's a Champions League. I think it's a Champions League squad. Well, I think if, if we if we if we had, I'm not saying to win the Champions League, I'm saying to get in the Champions League. If we had had Tenali and Barnes fit for the whole season, and we hadn't been no, decimated we, everywhere else, we would have needed another if, strike if we'd had as well. A, if we'd had a normal a normal quota of injuries this season, with Tenali mm. and Barnes added to what we had last season, I think we would have been right at the very top. Yeah. yeah, but we still lost games when we had a full team because we got really? idiots and the, like Miggy there missing chances mm-hmm. and can't doesn't cross. Um, okay, well, well listen, we gotta, we gotta go. Yes, seven. We gotta, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go, <laughs> we gotta go ladies and gents. I uh, appreciate everybody coming on. I appreciate it for your support. Please smash the like button on your way out. Subscribe if you're new to the show. Uh, Newcastle <laughs> Champions League. What a joke! Trevor is back, man. Hey, mods, take care of this dance. Oh, bud. Trevor, take care of this. Who's that? Spud, Who's that? Is that the Spurs game? It's, it's, it's a Spurs fan. It's a Spurs man. Hey, what, is that the no, idiot who said they're like a big club? How and many got, times you won the league, you little twat? Exactly. And what the hell have you won? I mean, I mean, I, listen, I keep telling Spurs fans and that's the Villa fans and Newcastle fans, let's not banter each other, please, because we uh, sound like a bunch of numpties. So, you know, just enjoy the little show. And what the hell are you doing here anyway? You know, so regardless. Because they, the rat old man. Yeah. Uh, appreciate it. By the big sleeping giant. No, be careful because you're going to wake up. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> uh, anyways, appreciate everybody coming on. Support the channel. Become a member. It helps us a lot. You can become a member right now. Hit the join button or click the link that's pinned in the chat. and help support the channel for as little as 0.75, 75p. And uh, yeah, we will see you tomorrow. <laughs> we got the match preview. No, wait, what's tomorrow? Oh, no, talk of the tune worldwide, 11 p.m. 
tomorrow night, folks. Talk of the tune worldwide. It's going to be nice. So come on and join us. We shall see you tomorrow. Highway the lights. Hit the likes. Hit the likes. Max those likes. Oh, hey, wait. I'm gonna. I want to leave us on this one. I love. I love this part. I love this part of the. I'm gonna. I think I want to end the show on this right here. No. I, I've kept really quiet, but I'll tell you something. He went down in my estimation when he said that. We have not resorted to that, but I'll tell you. You can tell him now. Be watching it. We're still fighting for this title, and he's got to go to Middlesbrough and get something. And and I'll tell you honestly. I will love it if we beat them. Love it. Love it. There we go. We shall see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.